So hey folks and welcome back and we're out on the T100 Triumph, the Bonneville and we're on its last ride actually after a week of having this uh, beautiful machine and what we're going to do today is we're just going to look through some of the things that I like and some of the things I don't like about the bike uh, just compare it a little bit with price and spec towards the T120 as well so if you're interested in that stick around stay tuned and we'll be right back So hey folks and uh, welcome back and uh, like I said today we're out on the T100 Bonneville if you're actually looking for modern day classic bike or even a commuter I would highly recommend having a look at either the Street Twin the T100 or the T120 Bonnevilles now I've had all three of the bikes now for a week to give them a good test and see what my final thoughts and verdict is this one being the uh, the last one we actually started on the T120 which is the 1200 cc engine version of this and then we had the street twin the actual gold line if you have a look back in the back catalog you'll see those and i'll pop a link to them both just up on the top uh, right hand corner of the screen just here i've been fortunate enough to have some of the triumph range recently and uh, we've tested all three of the uh, the bonnevilles i think the only ones that we haven't tested are the speedmaster and the bobber but i wanted to give you a, an overview of all three so uh, yeah in the back catalog we've got the street twin we've got the t120 and then we've got this one here the t100 that we're just out today on its last ride before it goes back tomorrow so how's the bike fared in comparison to its little brother as i mentioned in the other videos if you're a taller rider then either the t100 or the T120 would suit you better. It's a little bit taller in the seat and it just feels a bit more chunkier. It's got a bigger tank on the T100, T120 being 14.5 litres and the Street Twin has 12 litres. All three bikes are pretty much built on the same platform with a few tweaks here and there. They are absolutely the best classic bike I think you can get. Maybe not for the money. Things like the Royal Enfield, Interceptor 650 or the GT are a lot cheaper. So for refinement and build quality, I don't think you can top the Bonneville range. Now, as we're heading into winter, we've just got a few spits of rain around today. It's actually not meant to rain, but uh, the clouds are showing a little bit of a different story. Apologies if you've any water spots on the lenses. Now the brakes on this bike, you've only got a single disc, you've got Brembo twin pot front brakes and then you've got a Nissin twin pot on the rear. For the actual weight of the bike, with them being quite heavy, uh, I think I prefer the brakes on the T120 with them having two discs up front so you've got double the stopping power. Um, but it is quite adequate for the bike. It's kind of a toss up really because I prefer the brakes on the T120. Uh, but I prefer the engine on this one which is the 900cc and the T120's got the 1200 motor in. So like with all Bonnevilles you can uh, change them to suit you and uh, customise them a little bit. There are so many companies and that's including Triumph that have got over 100 different accessories for these bikes. What I'll do shortly is I'll pull up in the same place where we pulled up with the T120. Now if you watched the previous video, the first ride on this bike, I gave you all the specs. What I'm going to do today is just show you around and then against the T100 the similarities between the two um, but also I'm going to tell you the pricing and what you get for that extra money going up to the T120 and is it worth that big step in money to trade up from the T100 to the T120 do you actually get much more of a bike so we'll run through that in a little while we're just down at Glass and Dock today just passing the lock keepers rest on our left in a minute and you'll see uh, plenty of bikes there it's a uh, favorite spot for the bikes to pull up and get some uh, food there if you're ever up in Lancashire it's worth a uh, ride down here it's really nice and also over the back just at the top of the road here if you turn right you go down to where the uh, the docks are and there's a, uh, a smoke fish house down there that you can buy all kinds of smoke stuff especially fish obviously Okay, so the T100 Bonneville, this one is in the red and white, although the tank looks uh, slightly cream than white. Between the T100 and the T120, what you've got is, on this bike, you've got 64 bhp. On the T120, it's 78.9 bhp. Now, gearboxes on the bike, you've got five gears on the T100, whereas you've got six gears on the T120. 
Weight of this bike, it's 228 kilograms, and then on the T120 you've got 236. So a little bit more weight from that 1200cc engine. So gas mileage, what have we got? Uh, we've got 68.9 miles per the gallon, and then on the T120 you've got 60. Wheels and tyres are the same, so you've got the, uh, the spoked rims on this and the T120. But as you can see there on the T100 you've got single brake disc with a twin pop Brembo. On the T120 you have dual discs and uh, two calipers. So between them both, obviously you're paying extra money for the brakes and the engine. And that's all I can see so far. So colour options. You've got the red and white on the T120 and you've got the blue and white. You've also got a jet black which is a gloss black. On the T120 you've got a blue and silver, a red and silver, a jet black and then they do the all black version where you've got blacked out exhaust pipes, blacked out tank and everything. So on to pricing. So on the red and blue version of the T100 is uh, £9,650 and then on the T100 jet black version it's £9,300. On the T120, the red and blue versions are £11,350, and then the jet black version is £11,000. So the differences between the T100 and T120 on the red and blue models is £1,700. And for that, all I can see the difference is that you've got uh, dual brakes and you've got the 1200cc engine. Other than that, they're pretty identical. All the other components dimensions are the same except for the trail and that's just different because of the uh, 1200 cc engine now if you want the t120 in uh, the all black you'll be paying uh, for the jet black 11,000 and 11,350 for the black matte graphite version so pretty much all in all it's the same bike except for, like I say, dual discs and that 1200cc engine over the 900cc high torque engine you've got in here. Okay, so let's hop back on the bike and I'll tell you my likes and dislikes. Okay, so likes and dislikes on the bike. What do I like? Well, I like the simplicity of the bike. Everything's just simple, analog clocks, little bit of digital there. Just the important information that you need, like uh, fuel, how many miles before you run out of a tank, the time, what gear you're in, and those kind of things. Um, sadly enough, when I reported on the last video, the lack of mode, engine modes, so on the Street Twin and also on the T120, you do get a road and rain mode. And for the life of me, I was thinking, well, where's the button? It's, it's not here. It should be here. If those two bikes have got it, you'd think they'd put it on this one. And they haven't. While it's probably in the ECU and a similar ECU, you've just not got the button and it's always in road. So you've got one mode, which actually is quite pleasant. I noticed when I was riding the T120 uh, a couple of weeks ago that I didn't really use the riding modes. And let's face it, the engine is not that powerful that it's going to make a difference. The throttle is so connected, so smooth and linear, it's just a pleasure to ride. So modes on the T100, you don't get rider modes. Now the other thing I'm not fond of is a lot of chrome, but that's just a personal choice. If I was to buy one of these, I would definitely get the uh, jet black and start to make some modifications, or potentially I would get the T120 and I would make sure that it was the all black version. Now I've looked at the jet black, which I like. I do like a gloss black bike, but also the graphite and black, matte black version is uh, quite nice. So the other thing I would say were the brakes. It could do with a little bit more bite on them, a little bit stronger. So potentially the T120, um, if that concerns you, might be an issue. But the differences between this bike, like I say, and the T120, is just twin discs and Brembo's up front instead of single sided and then you've got the 1200 motor now I keep saying I prefer this motor over the 1200 personal preference only and that was based on just through town and slow riding and do you really need 1200cc on a classic retro bike 
not sure. Plus this engine, I like it because you can pretty much use the, the whole potential of the engine. The only things I did like on the T120 that would be nice on here, okay, rider modes, forget those, uh, but cruise control. I do like cruise control, especially when I'm on the motorways, because up north we, we basically have clear motorways and not many speed cameras, so cruise control would have been nice, but not necessary. So the other pet niggle with this, I know you can get axle stands, but I think on a modern day classic to put the center stand on. Now I believe that it was taken off this bike from the previous version, and that was probably a weight saving thing. So that's all my hates really. I do love the Bonneville range, and I think it's the, uh, the perfect uh, classic machine. It looks the part standing still, uh, build quality, and just how the bike rides is uh, phenomenal. So I suggest go and test ride one, make your own verdict, it's only my opinion. So it's good for me to give an honest review of what these bikes are like on the road. I see an awful lot of bike reviews, and especially motorcycle manufacturers launch bikes. They do a lot of bike launches on track, which I find absolutely madness really, because most of the average Joes that buy bikes um, will ride them mainly on the road. So I think all reviews on bikes should be uh, road focused and not track focused in my opinion unless they're sport bikes but i think the sport bike era is really dying out um, one thing that triumph did and i'm really looking forward for that bike coming is the new speed triple rr and what they've done there they've actually taken the speed triple rs that was launched the new one and they've actually put a bikini fairing on the front of it. And I'll put a link to the RR video just in the top right hand corner just here. Take a look at that because uh, in the olden days I used to ride things like Suzuki SV650s that used to have bikini fairings on and it was perfect for the road. It took the wind blast off you. Do you really need a, a fairing around the engine? Uh, I don't think you do. I, I think it just uh, causes problems if you do your own uh, servicing. You've, you've got to keep taking fairings off. It's not easy to access. They're launching that, I believe, in uh, January. So uh, it's actually on their website now. And priced around uh, 17k, I think it is. Whereas the Speed Triple rs is priced at around 15 and a half so lots of good things to come and look forward to from triumph in the next few months what else have they got coming well there's obviously a new tiger 1200 but also there's a tiger 660 coming the adventure series bikes that they do which is uh, really exciting a popular bike so yeah that's my uh, my final thoughts really on the t120 bonneville and we've got the Speed Triple RS coming next week. So if you're into the more modern Triumphs, and I've been waiting to get a uh, loan of that bike and get it ridden, so I'm really looking forward to that. So as I battle the traffic back through town, I'll bid you farewell, and uh, I'll catch you on another video. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, then please uh, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell for future videos coming up. We upload a couple of videos a week and it's always good to get new subscribers. So uh, yeah, have a great uh, week at work or whatever you're doing and we'll catch you on another video soon guys. Take care.